Hello, everybody, and Happy New Year. I'm so excited to be here with you guys in 2023. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's see what the Spirit has to say. Okay, here we go. So, impartiality, confusion, and impasse. Bottom of the deck, dissipating. I think you're just getting exhausted. It's like you're going through the motions and it's like you're trying to seek some type of balance here with the impartiality. I do feel like there's a lot of confusion in what you can do. And so you're really just standing at an impasse. Like, okay, do I go left? Do I go right? Like, which way do I go? Um, how do I go about doing all of this? What should I do? You feel guilty because you, I, I feel like some of you, let's go ahead. I feel like for some of you, there's a lot of guilt. Okay. And it's like, maybe you feel like you have to do certain things or there's certain people that are counting on you. And so out of that guilt, you tend to do things and you're not balanced when you're doing it. It's like, there's no give and take. It's like you do things for certain people, but yet they're not doing anything for you. And so it's almost like your life and there's a side of you that wants to go on some type of an adventure, but I feel like there's something holding you back. Now, whether that's family holding you back, that could be, um, you know, obligations, a job, you know, all of those types of things. And so you're like, well, I can't leave my job because, you know, I don't want to leave them, you know, stranded because there's not enough people who want to do this job or, you know, oh, I can't leave my family because I have this, this, and this going on. And, you know, I, I just feel like that's, that's part of the facade, you know, it's part of this. Um, I, I think that it's part of your growth for you to stop living in this illusion. Stop living in the illusion. It's like a friend of mine said one time, she says, you know, uh, she told a client of hers, you're not that important. Like you have to learn how to walk away from certain things because sometimes you're just not as important as you make yourself out to be. And I know that that can be a harsh lesson, but at the same time, I do feel like this is something that, um, you need to do for yourself. That's part of the growth process. And don't let anybody make you feel guilty. Oh, you're not here. You don't love me. Or, oh, you're going to leave me stranded doing this job. It's like, have faith that everything is going to work out. Have faith that everything that you're going to need and the people that are going to be so grateful that you did. You know, and it's like, you know, we, we stick ourselves in these illusions of like, I can't leave this job because nobody else. What you don't understand is you're standing in the position that somebody else is supposed to be taking over that can't take over until you make the decision to leave. Okay. Oh, well, I can't leave this person. Well, now you can, because then it's going to make somebody else step up to the plate. Right. So that's like the illusion that we kind of spin around ourselves. Um, I do feel like, you know, I do see growth and expansion here. Okay. So this could be growth and expansion when it comes to your work. It could be growth and expansion when it comes to your family. Someone here could possibly be finding out that they're pregnant because I am getting the growth expansion. And then I do see the mother, a mother energy here. And we are coming up on the cancer full moon. So I do want to say, listen, for some of you, you have a family member who has aged, okay? They're probably senior citizen, and they would do anything to get to see you. They might be an on old fart, you know, and that can very well be. But I do feel like this person needs you, okay? This is, might only be for a couple of you. Like, if you're estranged, estranged from your mother... Okay, because I am getting the mother. Of course, I get the father energy here, but I'm getting mostly the feminine vibe. Okay, I feel like you need to go and visit your mother. All right, for those of you um, that still have a mother here on this earth, you know, life is short and tomorrow is never promised. Five minutes from now isn't promised. Okay, so keep that in mind. I think for some of you also, one of your biggest things is you want to move. You want to move, but you feel guilty for wanting to move or somebody's making you feel guilty for wanting to move. But again, I feel like you need to listen for yourself. It's almost like I said earlier, like some of you are just going through the motions. But I do feel like 
you moving, you leaving, because I see her with the world there, right? Right in her hand. Sorry if you can't see it, but there it is. I think for some of you, you've had your head in the clouds about it. Maybe there's been some type of confusion about it, but I feel like you're getting the messages that you need. And I do feel like, you know, maybe for some of you, if you do have kids, maybe your kids just aren't grateful for you. You know, maybe your kids like are just, you know, ornery and, you know, maybe it's going to take you leaving for them to find gratitude for what you do. You know, over the summer, I left for like three months because I went through that same experience, you know, where I was being pushed out of my kids' lives. You know, everything else is more important. And it devastated me. I'm a Cancer moon. I'm Mars in Cancer. And so I ended up leaving for the last, you know, three months. And, you know, I think that it was the best thing that I could have ever done because it really showed them what I actually do for them. And sometimes it takes you walking away instead of just sitting around waiting for things to happen with your children. You know, it shows them, you know, I mean, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, not for you. It's time for you to travel. It's time for you to go do something else. It's time for you to go to lands that you've never experienced before. It's time for an adventure. And I think that, you know, this is all about strategy. We've got the chess pieces here on both sides, right? And this fortune cookie says, there's a different fortune. You need to walk away from what's not for you, whether that's family, you know, whether that's you doing things by the book, you know, oh, I can't do something else because I feel guilty because other people are, you know, putting in their two cents. But at the same time, you're at this place of like, I want to do something else. And so like, I want to grow more. I want to learn more. I want to do more. I want to meet more people. But I do feel like there has been some sense of confusion. And I don't know to go, if I should go left, but I feel like it's like, Somebody here has been trying. If you see this guy here, he's trying to give her a message, but she's like covered in the clouds. Okay. But then I look over here and at the end, the confusion was about you expanding. And look, now you're clearly getting these messages. Somebody is giving you the messages. It's almost like you needed to take this. It's like you had earmuffs on. You know how she's got the wrap around her head? It's almost like I wasn't ready to hear it. But you've been praying for growth. You've been pay praying, you know, for something else. And I feel like that's part of the growth process is for you to do something else and not feel guilty about it. I feel like you're going to be met with open arms. That's funny because she's got the world in her hand here too. I don't know if you can see that. See, she's got the world here and she's got the world here and you've got them on both bookends. For some of you, I do see that you are traveling. Some of you, maybe you're moving across water. You're moving to another you know, place, another island, another country, but you're moving. And I think that, you know, you've been trying to hold on to it, but I think that it goes back to what I said. You have roots that you want to expand on. <laughs> I just got for some of you, your mother-in-law makes you feel guilty or something. There's something about your mother-in-law because I'm seeing the mother-in-law's tongue here. Or maybe you just can't stand your mother-in-law. But I feel like your mother-in-law is going to end up doing something for you or your mother's going to do something for you and it's going to make you feel very uh, grateful. You know, maybe there's been, you know, this, this other shit going on. <laughs> hmm. Transformation. It's time for your whole life to go through an upheaval and transformation. With this Mercury retrograde over Pluto and conjunct Venus, this is mass transformation. It's time for your life. Look at this. It's funny because his hands are down. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Maybe I'm at an impasse. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. 
And then all of a sudden you see with this card, it's like arms wide open, baby. I'm ready for whatever you have to offer. Bring it. And there's a lot of fire here too. There's a lot of passion when it comes to whatever this is. And I think that whatever this is, is going to help you with your creativity. I feel like your gut is on board. I think your intuition is on board. You just need to communicate what you need. Not everything is black and white. Yes, there's a gray area. Sometimes we just don't know. But I feel like, you know, you're like, as you think about this move, I feel like there's a lot of creativity that goes along with it. It's like you can see yourself doing all these different things and meeting new different people. And, and I, I definitely see people of all different sorts. I always say there's a whole world waiting for you to show up and would be highly disappointed if you didn't. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. You guys, I want to thank you for all of your guys' genuine support. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the thumbs up and all of you guys helping my channel grow. For everybody who's been here since the long, since I began this channel like almost three years ago, I really do love you guys all so very much. And I will see you again, hopefully, tomorrow. Take care.